your offense the first week? Kind of, what kind of grade would you give it? And what do you, think <laughs> you guys can do better? Uh, yeah, we didn't play well at all. Um, and we need to play better for sure. And that, we will. I expect us. We're going to be a really good offense this year. We just, it was not a good day. We had a pretty heavy day leading up to the game. And then we, we looked like a... Um, pretty pretty sluggish out there, pretty sloppy. And so, but we're working to correct our mistakes, and we have a lot of good players out here. We'll play better. What do you feel like the biggest areas of maybe let down that that hurt the execution last Saturday? It was all around. It was a variety of position groups. Uh, um, my biggest concern going into the game was just we had a lot of new players, and they've done a good job in camp. We have good players. It was, but the first game of executing that stuff together as a unit. Um, it was just a lot of plays where we have one guy kind of going haywire or another guy reverting back to something maybe he did at his last school or his junior college or whatever, you know. And, and um, so we're working to tighten things up this week, and I think our execution will improve each week. And I'm very confident still. How do you think Aiden played, and do you kind of expect him to get more carries this week? Um. Aiden played, he, you know, I, I, he didn't play badly. We just we had uh, a lot of drive-killing mistakes where we kept getting in bad down-distance situations, which made it hard to run the ball. You know, we were we were often in second and long, third and long, which wasn't conducive to keep running the ball. And um, and then yeah, so I, I'm not down on Aiden at all. I think I think he'll make. You know, make make a lot of progress. How deep did you get into your playbook? Would you say like if you gave a percentage? I mean, was it just kind of scratching? the Not very deep at all. But it, that wasn't the plan, though. We were we weren't we weren't holding anything back. We just um, we struggled to. Uh, you know, we were in a lot of third and longs, a lot of second and longs. We were we didn't play very well on first down, which kept setting us back. And then we had some you know silly penalties and stuff that really cost us some drives. And so you never really get a chance to get into the fun stuff when you're always. Uh, you know, in, in those long yard situations, your, you know, your cool plays don't really work. You know, it's when it's, when it's third and nine all the time. There's, you know, there's there's less less options you have to uh, be deceiving. You know, to the defense. And so um, we've got to play better on first down and get put ourselves in better situations to move the chains. Was Keaton kind of a victim of circumstance for what you just said, or was he pressing? How would you kind of break? Yeah, I mean, I think he, he, he can play better too. He's there's blame to go around, starting with me. Um, but uh, it's hard to play quarterback when you don't have you know great execution going on around you. And I thought that was the case. And um, the other night is we just didn't seem to ever have eleven guys all clicking on the same page very often in that game. And um, but. We've been doing it all camp. We've been playing really, really good football all camp against our defense, um, and we'll we'll put it on the field soon. Keaton didn't have two of his pass, two two of his top pass catchers either. Do you yeah. expect maybe any of them back? Maybe this week? it's a factor. We're trying to get them back. It's a day to day thing. Um, they're not serious, you know. They're not serious season threatening type injuries. They're just things that uh, I just have to work with whoever's available. When LJ came in, I felt like. I felt like you kind of ran the ball a little bit more on first yeah. down particularly. Do you think that was just time and score, or do you think that's something that you can maybe translate? It was It was a little bit of both. You know, at that stage, their their offense was not doing anything at all, and I know that second half wasn't fun, but um, we, you know, purposely, especially in the fourth quarter, the idea was let's get out here with a win. This, this hasn't been a very fun night, but, but the whole day was just really heavy for our team, especially our offensive players, and... Uh, we just want to get out of there with a win, correct our mistakes, and move on. And LJ gave us a spark for sure. And I was not surprised at all about how he played. I've been saying all along he's one of the best players on this team, and he showed it. What challenges come with facing a, an SU defense that kind of knows some of the nuances of these? The these guys are as good or better than the team we played last week. Um, you saw if you saw the Arizona State game, they their defense played very well against ASU. Uh, ASU had trouble moving the ball, they had trouble running the ball. They, they they scored, they had a couple of big plays, like just explosive plays where one one great player made a great play kind of thing, but sustaining drives and moving the football regularly was difficult, and SUU does a good job of that. And then the other thing is they know our offense inside and out because they run the exact same offense word for word, same same everything, same words, same signals, everything, because our, one of our analysts was the OC the last couple of years down there, so... Uh, there's some logistical challenges for us this week with how we operate on offense, um, 
and which you know that's a challenge, but um, it's it's going to be fun. Does that kind of catch the guys' attention a little bit more? Maybe heighten the urgency some coming off of last week, just based off of what SUU was able to do last week in, in Phoenix and everything. Kind of the scare that they put in the issue. Does that sort of maybe catch your attention a little bit more to, to the team? Maybe, but we, you know, we don't need that scare. We got humbled ourselves, so you know that this game will humble you if you're not ready to play. And uh, so, you know, you have to you have to respect the game and respect the, every opponent. And um, you know, we. You know, we won the game, and we're happy about that. And we took good care of the ball, and we got touchdowns when we were in the red zone. But um, we don't want to play like that all year. That's not that's not the style of offense we've been playing the last three years. And you know, we're used to scoring a lot of points and getting a lot of first downs and staying on the field. And uh, that was not fun to go three and out that often. And so, we're you know, yes, SUU got our attention, but what got our attention even more is just that that was not the brand of football that we're used to used to playing. Notice Mata Abba's father's funeral is next week. Yeah. Will he will he be available this week or? Uh, I expect him to be available this week. Yes, and um, but we're we're leaving him. It's everything's his choice, but we do expect to have him.